Welcome everyone to Houston News. Today is November the 11th, 2018, the home of the two minute price prediction, as well as giving you all the news according to the charts. Uh, if this is your first time watching this particular video, please make sure that you guys go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Make sure you like and share this video as well. Now, what we have for you in store as the thumbnail reads, GE stock hurry because smart money is buying this stock. So what we're going to talk about, we're going to look at this article today written by Reuters. And then we're going to look at the price chart to make sure that this various tone that this uh, article is giving us, if it in fact correlates or is seen on the price chart for GE. OK, so right now you guys can see this article is up. Uh, it was posted November 9, 2018, about two days ago. And the title reads GE shares tumble below nine dollars as JP Morgan analyst cuts the price target. OK, now go ahead and look down. A little bit further, you can see that GE stock tumbled on Friday after a JP Morgan analyst slashed his target price on the stock to a lowly $6. Now, this same analyst originally had his price target for GE at $10. So, obviously, he revised his estimate. So, he still feels the bearish tone for GE stock to continue, at least in the foreseeable future. Now, GE shares sank 7.3% to eight dollars and 44 cents in afternoon trading and dropped to as low as eight dollars and 15 cents the stock price for ge fell below nine dollars for the first time since march of 2009 that's almost 10 years ago ge has not been trading around nine dollars a share the company posted a staggering loss of 22.8 billion dollars and said it faced a deepening federal accounting probe so there was look like I guess they're trying to state that uh, GE stock was cooking the books, trying to make sure that they're showing things that would really actually wasn't uh, true on their accounting statements. Tussa, who's the analyst who revised his price target for GE, said that out of GE's eight reported segments, all of which were profitable two years ago in 2016, are now likely either at or below zero in 2020. So he's still expecting GE to give us some movement to the downside in the price stock. And he also kept his underweight rating on the stock as he cut his price target to six dollars from ten. I will have a link of this article in the description on our video just in case you guys want to continue to read uh, more about what is going on with GE stock. We're just concerned with the price chart. OK, we, we've seen this article. We read some of the key points as to what it is trying to insinuate and overwhelmingly it is trying to insinuate that this stock is still weak and they're still expecting it to move lower. But as you can tell by our thumbnail, we're telling you all right now that the smart money is buying the stock of GE as this particular moment. And we will show you that on the price chart now. So let's go ahead and look at the price chart to see. We still have that bearish tone in the market for GE. So this is the monthly chart for GE. And you can tell right here back in May, March of 2009, that GE came and touched that $8 price area. Okay. Last trade was on Friday, about $8.58. It was down 5.71%. And you can tell here that even back in 1994, the market has held that $7.50, $8 area quite well on a monthly time frame before we shot exponentially higher in price. During that time period, we came and bounced off that once, came up here towards $32 and now you got another severe movement to the downside on the monthly chart and I'm still expecting GE to hold support right here about that $7.50 $8 area which is one of the main reasons why I'm stating that smart money is coming in and buying this particular stock up now uh, looking at it on the weekly chart we're still getting an increased amount of volume in this particular stock telling us that the market participants are definitely here buying up GE stock at this price uh, even looking at on the daily price chart, the last day, Friday, we did make a severe move to the downside, but that volume is quite high. The spread is a little bit smaller than the other high volume bars in this particular stock, which is another reason why I'm stating that the smart money is coming in and buying this stock right now. OK, so according to the price chart, this is a perfect opportunity to try to 
look at your own strategy for GE stock to see if this is a perfect time to come in and buy this particular stock. OK, uh, the price starts telling us that the market participants are becoming more active, meaning that they are taking positions in GE stock around this nine dollar area, a dollar area, which definitely something needs to be on our end needs to be looked at. OK, one of the things I want to point out to you all is that the last time that GE stock came and traded at this six dollar seven dollar price it took this stock literally almost seven years before it came up to 32 dollars okay and then less than two years for it to come right back down to where it was trading back in 2009 okay so that is something that you need to understand is that the market takes longer to move to the upside and a lot shorter to move to the downside but from what this price chart is telling us, and it, it kind of correlates with what the article is reading. Yes, GE stock is still weak, but the transition is occurring right now in GE stock for us to see another move to the upside. So this is the time now to evaluate your own individual strategy. We're not giving you any financial advice. We just want you all to see here that, yes, the market participants are in GE stock buying up all of the weak hands all of the selling that is currently happening right now so tell us your thoughts tell us your opinion uh, let us know what you guys expect GE stock to do in the future do you think this is a great support area we are have already seen 2009 how the increased volume then revealed and culminated at this stock trading at 32 dollars in six seven years okay tell us your thoughts tell us your opinion with a comment in the comment section of the video and while you're at it, if you're still interested in learning more about how to do this language analysis without any confusion, please make sure that you go ahead and sign up on our Hufi News Patreon page. The link is going to be in the description of this video if you're interested. And if not, just continue to subscribe and share and like this video because we will have more videos to come to show you how easy it is to predict prices and even price movement in the stock market. We do appreciate your time. Make sure you all maintain your profitability and I will see you all later.